What's up everybody, Mr. Jones here, and we are going to be now learning to solve some quadratic equations using Desmos, the online calculator, okay? Um, so this is something that I will mainly show using a computer recording, which I will do now, but yes, here we go. All right, guys, we're here in Desmos, and we are going to be solving some of these quadratic equations uh, in Desmos. Okay, Desmos is super helpful to us. Um, it does a lot of the hard work for us, so it is very, very handy. Okay, so if we look at number 15 here, this first one, and the directions kind of cut off there, it says give each answer to at most two decimal places. Okay, that's fine. So if we just type in, okay, if we type in just exactly what it says, 10x squared equals 4 minus 3x. Let's see what shows up. Um, so if we look, okay, we look and we see these two vertical red lines. Okay, and if you zoom out a little bit, you see that it's not like a quadratic curve that's just like not zoomed out enough. It's actually two vertical lines. Okay, what these red lines represent are actually the two uh, solutions, the two answers to this. Okay, you see that these are two lines and they cross the x-axis at a certain point. And when we click on those points, we see that, okay, the x value of this point on the left is negative 0.8, and this point is a negative, or positive 0.5. So those would be my two answers to this number 15. x equals negative 0.8 and x equals 0.5. Okay, those would be my two answers to this quadratic, right? It's really handy. I don't have any solving to do, any factoring to do, or any of that. Uh, I just have to plug it into Desmos and solve. Okay, let's look at another one. Okay, if we look at 16, type in that in exactly how it looks. 3x squared plus 2x equals 2. Again, same idea. I got two vertical lines. Okay, and this one, again, it asks, it says give at most two decimal places. So let's make sure we follow that direction and we give those two decimal places. So that would be two numbers after the decimal point. So that would be negative 1.22 if we round up and x equals 0 0.55. Okay, so those would be the two answers, right? Really nice. Just plots those for us right here. Okay, and there is some bad news coming though. It's not this easy all the time. So don't be like, oh, I don't have to do any work ever. Okay, there is a there is a catch. So stay tuned. Just working through these next two, 4x squared minus x equals 6. Again, two lines, similar, negative 1.106, and that one. So x equals negative 1.11, and x equals 1.36, if I round up. Okay. And then 18, look at how complicated that equation is. Crazy, right? We've got all these different x's. I'd have some like terms to combine if I solved it normally, but that's no problem for Desmos. We just type that in exactly how it looks. 4x squared plus 3x equals 6 minus 2x. And again, we see those two lines appear. And the numbers aren't even that complicated. That's great. So x equals negative 2 and x equals or 0 0.75. Okay, now here is the catch. Okay, this Desmos test mode. Okay, now we show you guys Desmos and we started to use it instead of the yellow TI-84 calculators here in Virginia, Prince William County, because you're able to use Desmos on your state test at the end of the year, the SOL. Okay, so we wanted you to be able to use it. The catch here is this test mode, Desmos testing calculator. This is what you would have access to on the actual state test. And look, when I try to type in x squared plus 4 equals 6x, uh-oh, doesn't like it. Plotting single variable implicit equations is disabled. That's a fancy word for we're not going to do it for you. So you might be thinking, uh-oh, do I have to solve this another way? And you can still use it by you can still solve it by graphing, but we just need to get all these terms on the same side, like we've said for solving other types of quadratics. So that would mean, in this case, I'll try to show my work here. 
I need to minus this 6x from both sides, okay, so that I get it to say equal 0, right? That's what I want with quadratics. And if I do that, my equation is going to be x squared minus 6x plus 4 equals 0, okay? And if I type that in, let's see what happens. Okay, so it still doesn't like the equal 0, but notice, you don't even need to write it, okay? If all these terms are together on the same side, the graph, it will graph the quadratic like it would be y equals, like the, like the graph version, okay? So if I type that in like that with all the terms on the same side without the equals zero, it just doesn't like that it's an equation with one variable. It's, Desmos isn't allowed to solve that uh, for you in this test mode. But what it will give you, if you forget the equals zero and just have all the terms together, it will graph the quadratic curve, the parabola. Okay, so you can still get your answers that way. Just look at the x-intercepts, right? It's trickier because it's going to give you more than that. It's going to give you the y-intercept. It's going to give you this vertex point. But again, you're only concerned with these x-intercepts. Those are the x values, which are your solutions, okay? So you'd get x equals uh, 0.76 and x equals 5.24, okay? Just one more like that. Let's look at number 20, okay? Complicated with that nasty fraction coefficient, but we'll deal with it, okay? Let's take, because that fraction coefficient's positive, okay, so if we minus that 5x from, or minus the 5 and plus the x to both sides, minus 5 plus the x. Again, that might seem complicated, but we're not going to be able to combine any of these terms because they are not like terms. So, 0 is all that's left here on the left, and then on the right, I have the 1 half x squared, and then plus the single x, plus the 1x, minus 5. Okay, so now all the terms are together on that same side. Again, it doesn't matter that it's on the right side. They're just, it just matters that they're all together. So I type that in, 1 half, or 1 over 2, x squared, plus x, minus 5. Again, without the equal 0, again, I get the quadratic curve here, and I see my two x-intercepts are... 4, negative 4.32, so that would be one answer, and again, rounding it, and x equals 2.32. So those would be my two answers. Again, Desmos test mode doesn't usually graph these for you, but it will solve it for you if you're smart and get everything on the same side. You can still solve it that way, okay? So there's a little bit on solving equations, quadratic equations in Desmos. Hope that's helpful. That is all from me. Signing off here, Mr. Jones. Goodbye.